Saving data in Roblox is important. When somebody joins your game they, and they do a lot of stuff, they expect their data to be safe when they leave and join back, let's say, the next day. And if they're not, they're going to be devastated and they don't want to play your game. This tutorial is going to try to help you understand how to save data more, such as coins or wins. So, what do you want to do first is create a, a script in server script service and name it data saving. And in the script, put local data store service, game get service, data store service. Before we start, actually, sorry if I'm going a little too fast. Um, in if you don't have API services enabled or you don't know how to enable it, check this out. On the top, click on home and game settings, go to security and make sure the second option is enabled API services. Uh, turn, it, turn it on if it's off. So, um, you could put local data, data store equals data store service, get data store and we're gonna put wins and local players equals game players oh no game get service players we're gonna do players dot player added connect function player and we're gonna create another players we know we don't need to um let's put local data equals data store get async um data store oh wait no player dot user id and we're gonna put um if data oh wait no local wins equals well if you already have it uh if you don't then just follow this adding wins um so number value you could put anything you want i'm just using wins for example and wins and we could do wins dot parent equals player and if data then wins dot uh wins dot value equals data else if data because it goes nil, then we're gonna warn uh, key dot dot player that user ID is nil, setting to zero, and we just put um, wins dot value equals zero. Um, Let's say you have it already have wins coded into your thing. You could just take the data and everything. You can also copy this. Also, um, I don't, never mind. Um, anyway, to actually save it, we could to wins get property chain signal value connect function, and we could store set async instead of load uh we're gonna do player dot user id in the value we're gonna put wins dot value and for now this is just for testing we could put a uh, new data we're gonna remove this in a bit for key dot dot player dot user id is now and we could put dot dot wins the value and we could play and right now you could see it's no also if he if it doesn't appear up appear on the player list but you want it to then follow this if you don't just skip to the time point on screen um Local leader stats equals instance dot new folder and folder. Oh, wait, no, leader stats dot name equals. And we're gonna copy the name of this and just put leader stats, leader stats dot parent equals player. Remember, if you're if you if you're gonna uh, make it appear, 
uh, set the wins parent to leader stats, but if you just want to say like for a custom player list, just put a player. Um, but I'm gonna put on leader stats for now. Um, you could play, and it appears, and it's a it's at nil right now. But how do we change it? We could either do this two ways. We could create it. We could create a. If you already have this coded, yeah, just skip to this time frame again. Um, if you don't, just follow this. If you just want, like an example, I don't know. I'm just doing this for example. Add a win. Add plus one. Win. This is. We already have a coded. Ignore this. Um, we're gonna do multiplayer. This. Skip that point. That point. I'm looking for a workspace. Okay, then. Player dot win dot leaders. Wafer child. Leaders stats. Wafer child wins dot dot value. Oh, wait, I forgot about script that parent. The mouse connect function. And wins the value plus equals one. And I'm gonna keep on getting wins. If I click this, I keep on getting wins. This is. It might overwrite if you're repeatedly saving it. But it might drop, actually. I'm thinking about it. Did it because it would drop. Okay. We get to 50. I think we're good. And save. And then play. We're at 49 wins. Uh, maybe because I requested so much. Um, 50. Now it's at 50. And it saves. And not the other way to do this is by on the top next to stop click on current client now i'm on the server open up players uh crazy banner scredev leaders adds wins and i can set this to whatever just put a total live on all right and i can continue adding wins i think we kind of broke it because of the number anyway it saves. We're good. Um, if you want to save strings, then follow this string value. Uh, let's just put um, random string. I'm just gonna keep this to wins. If you want to change this, then you gotta change everything else that's highlighted gray. But I'm gonna create another data store. This will create a completely new one, and instead of zero, we're gonna put a oh, dad. We're gonna put quotes. And nothing. Um, just put, just put that. Um, okay. Setting to not available. Um, a random string. Let's just put this to yes. Then let's see if this saves. <laughs> okay, it's a yes. Let's try changing it again. Let's put it. At, I don't know. Where it... You see, it saves. Now, there's a bunch of other uh, things you can use data store service, such as saving tables, saving, like, color. You can save app almost anything with data store service. So, it's impressive what this data store service thing can do. I'm just making a quick tutorial on how 
you could use it for if you new to using it. Um, I'll try to create another tutorial uh, for saving such tables and everything like that. The rest, but um, uh, if you need help, tell me in the comments of what do you want to save, and I'll just try to help you. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully, you learned something new in this video. But for now, peace.